Did my ads already go? I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, they're still going. Okay, great. Hello, so Leo, 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 and Card, and my good friend, and Namiria. How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, they were streaming earlier. Yeah, yeah, they were streaming earlier. I missed it because I was... What was I doing? What was I doing? Something unimportant. It was definitely something unimportant. I was <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Fi, the Yakuza. I was I was watching Game Changer with Soul and Beetle. That was important. That was important. What else was I doing today? Um I was doing actual work stuff. Uh yeah, it was lame. It was lame, actually. Hi. It was. It was so important. We had a lot of fun. I knew I'd stream a few hours. Turned out I streamed five without thinking. Wowie, wowie, zowie. That that's a lot of that's a lot of streaming time. I think I started like when I got no when I was about to go to lunch. When you were about to go to lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very true. I, I've been there. 
but these days I'm sleepy. I'm always sleepy. Let me let me change over to here. Um, I was about to say, hey, uh, Pentiment is so good and it sucked you in. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, that's wild. I think, I think I saw a clip of you playing it. I'm trying to remember. I watched a clip, I think on your, is it on your YouTube page or your Twitter page? I don't remember. <laughs> Probably the only exception is charity streams, and I struggle with those. That's fair. Hi, Tara. Oh, real quick, real quick. Guys, I need to tell you, you need to know that this game does contain depictions of depression, anxiety, and suicide. It may not be suitable for all audiences. And also, it contains bright flashing imagery that may cause discomfort or seizures with those with photosensitivity or epilepsy. Um, I've put a timed, like, uh, command, so it'll... You know, if other people come in, it'll let them know that like, hey, this game deals with those issues. Um, but I just want to make sure that you guys know that. And if you're very sensitive to those issues, I am okay if you don't want to hang out in the stream. That's okay. Please respect your comfort levels and do what is comfortable for yourself. Okay. Yes, your seduction clip. <laughs> it was great. Um, Am I... No, I'm not. Okay. Any button. One thing you may want to do in future stream, Buddy! Buddy, I can pin this! Hold on, let me do that right fucking now! I forgot! I was like, oh, I gotta do, like, a stupid, like, fucking... Yeah, I could do it in the stream window. But also, I can pin messages! I forgot! Okay. Guys, give me, like... <laughs> give me, like, two seconds while I do that. Um, yeah, I like fucking, I, I literally made like a time thing that would go like every 20 minutes and I was like, okay, maybe that's enough time, but like, I can just, I can just pin it. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot. Um, God. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It may not be suitable for all audiences. Please respect your own comfort levels. Uh, there are also scenes of flashing lights that might cause discomfort uh, and or seizures for those with photosensitivity. Uh, I couldn't spell epilepsy at the time, but I have the power of the internet and I still think I, I did. I did spell it wrong. Anyway, yeah, it just came out like uh, last week. I was supposed to play it. Um, I hate that the spaces don't work, but anyway, um, we're going to manually unpin this at the end of the stream. So it'll stay up for the whole stream. Um, it's kind of long. I don't, okay, cool. You can, you can scroll through it. All right, great. So now I'm going to turn off my timer on it. So that way you don't get many messages. Um, anyway, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, stream elements, shut up. <laughs> oh, Sessu was live now. I was live like nine minutes ago, stream elements. Come on. Um. Okay, it kept my sound settings. Uh, I put it down to comfortable levels for me. Please let me know if it's still too loud or too soft. Uh, I kind of peeked at it in OBS and it looked like it wasn't like... It was just getting to the point where, like, I cut it off, so, um, it should be okay, but let me know if it's not. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak, and the cat was worried. Meow, Princess. Mew looks sick. Are Mew okay? The cat meowed. Oh, sorry. Meow. Meow, princess. Mew looks sick. You, you gotta get in the, the uwu, you know? And the princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye. To leave this world behind. Oh no! I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. 
Something shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, meow, princess. Please don't. I can't let meow go. Mew go. The cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap! I can't. Me neither. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugged the flower to itself. Sob. Oh, princess, the world didn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Cole Rider? It was great. Your story was so touching. And I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. Listen, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it? It's been on my list for centuries. I played the demo, and I was like, this is my type of game. And so, when Fire Emblem was coming out the same week, I was like, oh no. But then I decided not to pick up Fire Emblem. And then I decided not to stream on the day I was going to play this. So, <laughs> you know. The world the adventure, and the characters. I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, whew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would have been a brutal way to end the story, so I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit in at all. By the way, where'd you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eyes to the sky for inspiration and a comet flashed suddenly across the horizon, burning bright through the pitch dark night. Ah, oh, jeez. I wish I was awake last night, but still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yeah, it'll be more like an epilogue, but we could think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... Um... The yellow flower... They are about to... Um, huh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we go out and get some fresh air? It may help clear your mind. Ah, uh, if I hadn't already spent my game's budget, I would have picked this up stat. Maybe next paycheck. Yeah, yeah! From what I hear, it's like a pretty, um, I actually don't know how long the game is, but I know that people have already been finishing it. Um, so I think it's probably in the nice sweet spot of, um, not staying too long. Like you said, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Which honestly is my favorite type of game. The game that like, you know, doesn't stay too long. It stays precisely as long as it needs to and then finishes. <laughs> How about now? Feeling any better? Um, I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels too scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I hadn't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell yet. Yup, that's writer's block, alright. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. Uh, the magic red what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, don't get me wrong. I really appreciate games that are 60 hours long of open world side quests. 
um, me with Pokemon. But like, when every game is like it, I'm like, come on. You didn't have to do this, buddy. <laughs> the magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into people's hearts and rid them of their inner turmoil. Oh, yes, of course. The magic red book. How could I have forgotten? <laughs> yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Um, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Do you want a seat? No. No? You good? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't fix myself at any time. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can do whatever you wanna. <laughs> hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. I might have left it around here. Keep your eye out for something red. Okay, I'm on it. Uh, this is something red. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says... <laughs> Double tap left or right to run. A classic tutorial. Wonder what game it's for. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. What's this way? Hey, where are you going? Help me find the magic red book, will ya? Okay, I'm coming. Hey! Yes! Thank you for patting him! I- I love- I love when Tiger gets pat. His face is just like, brr. <laughs> I've seen like, um, my friend has like, the dog one. And, look, it's really cute when it gets pat, but it's not like Tiger when it gets pat. <laughs> the cat one is just so funny. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book, you found it! Go on then, try to use the book. But, I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Can you help me? Bountiful, magical, mystical co-writer. Oh, bye! Thank you for hydrating Pando. Wait! Oh! Oh, you leveled up! Okay, okay. This is great, this is great. Next stream, Tiger's gonna have a different skin. He's getting new fur. Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. Yes, thank you for patting, tiger. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it. See what? You'll see a dancing flower up above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? Yes! Thank you for treating Pando, y'all! He's so cute! I really gotta change it to Hydrate Tiger. I can do that. I've just been lazy. <laughs> yeah, believe me. That's the power of the magic red book. Then you just open the book? Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Thank you also for hydrating, tiger! That's it! Hurry up and try it already! Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is you're scared of. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? And to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. Oh, yeah, there's the dancing flower. We're diving. How much is this game? Um, let me check. Let me check on my phone. I think I bought it when it just came out. Oh, it's $19.99? Okay. Yeah, there's a free demo. Um, I, it's pretty good. I think the demo really gives you, like, a lot of what you're, like, dealing with in terms of the game. I'm scared. Too scared to think about the final chapter. About what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. God damn, that, that's the writer. That's it. Just think. I've never finished anything before. 
This final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? Interact. I picked up a key. I wonder what it opens. Ah, uh, you don't have enough money in your Steam account right now. Well, there's always a sale around the corner with Steam games. So if you're patient, it eventually goes low enough. It's a weird looking locked door. Okay. That's what I do. Like, if I know I'm not going to play it anytime soon, I'm just like, I'll wait for a sale. And then I'll see if I'm going to play it anytime soon. And then I'll buy it. Stretch. Pixel, hi. How are you? It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to stretch right now. Oh. Um. I also have a little bit of water here. Thank you for the head pads. Well, I won't have to buy it if I'm watching you play it. Eh, eh, there you go. There you go, saving money. Oh, your guy stretched when you stretched. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so th there's quite a few of you. Tell me, this is the conversation topic for today. Have you guys heard of carob chips? And if you haven't, tell me what you think it is. Like... Okay, okay, Soul's in the know. I'm not too surprised, Soul. I learned about it today. Well, okay, I say I learned about it today. I think my significant other taught me about it. Before. But I did not remember. Yeah, yeah, that makes it. Oh, uh, hey. Okay. I'll come back to you, Soul. I'll come back to you. I have a question for you. All right, so. Carob chips are like a chocolate substitute. Oh, like, like, a, like a cocoa powder, like a powder type. Not like actual chocolate. Although you can make them into uh, like carob chips, which are kind of like chocolate chips. Uh, Soul, how is it in terms of a substitute? Is it good? Because I can't eat chocolate right now, but I wonder if I can eat carob. Um, it came up. I don't remember why it came up. If there's a food allergy substitute of any kind, I've probably heard slash tried it. That that's very fair. That's very fair. Um, it isn't quite the same as chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like the taste is different. Like it's a little more sweet than bitter. But it's still good, especially for baking. Okay. All right. I'll have to try it. Yeah. Apparently. Um, my significant other had had it when he had been growing up, um, because his mom, I love his mom. His mom is a health nut. I say this in the most positive way I can. His mom is a health nut. <laughs> so if there was a fad food, he probably tried it growing up. <laughs> and carob chips were one of them. But that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like eating on its own, I'm I'm still okay eating dark chocolate. It's just once it gets into like the semi-sweet and like the milk where I can't do it because it has milk in it. Um, and then <sighs> chocolate in general isn't really good for acid reflux. I'm assuming it's the caffeine. So maybe like, you know, without the caffeine and the carob chip, maybe it's better. Anyway. That's the, uh, that's the topic of the day. Later, I'll have a, uh, I'll have a side topic from that. Because <laughs> it reminded me, when I was talking to my significant other, it reminded me of something else. But anyway, back to the game. Thank you for the stretch. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust. And was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Oh, it popped. 
Oh, is this the last chapter? <laughs> the way he snatched it out of the air. I have an idea. It could be useful. My aunt is also a health food nut, so I was introduced to a lot of weird stuff via her. I love it. This story. I'm still afraid, but this. Should I... Should I tell this story? Could I finish it? Yes. This is it. I wish I grew up with health food nuts. Come on, y'all. I want to try some of this cool ass food. Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in outer space. Kind of like an out-of-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Yeah, that sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive! So... Did the space dive actually help? Yes! I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh wow, cool! For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. The... Big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there. To the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly! Oh wow, that sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co-Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess's story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? If you say so. Well. Hooray! Oh my god! His animations are so cute! I love that little fist pump. Just, yeah! Hooray! Both of them are so cute. Oh my god. To the final chapter! Yes! The final chapter! Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, we need a spaceship! How- How am I supposed to get a spaceship? <laughs> Whoa. A spaceship? Yes! In the end, the Star Princess and the Cat will explore the spaces together with new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built the ship myself! What? W when did you- can I see it? Where is it? Every time I see the phrase, can I see it, I just... Aurora Borealis. Localized right in your kitchen. Can I see it? That video has a grip on my mind. Haha. -ha. I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. Oh, I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river, so you you wouldn't find it. You crossed the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times here. Now. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyway, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... The Star Princess's magic wand, of course! But, I left it at home. Oh, well that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? It was there vaguely in my mind when you said, Can I see it? <laughs> Perfect. No, 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 I can't go there right now. My house is... Not good right now. My father, he's... Hmm. Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. Aw, oh, no worries. I'm stealthy like a cat, you know. I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can, but... You have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together, and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise, I'll be waiting for you. 
Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosk, will always know where to go. <gasps> Kitty! <laughs> Kitty is voiced! Copy that. Good luck! I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Hey, real quick. We have ads starting soon. I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna make them go because I have to go take a medicine real quick. Um, thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue and it means you guys don't have to see pre-roll ads. If you don't want to see any ads, please consider subscribing to me. You'll get access to my subscriber emotes and, um, you'll, you'll win my virtual love. Just like Neutral Blaze just did. Thank you for following me, Neutral Blaze. I really appreciate it. You've come right before ads, but don't worry. I'll be right back after them. And, um, yeah, otherwise, I'm just really happy you guys are here. Please enjoy this very beautiful game with me, A Space for the Unbound. And I shall be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm just waiting for the ads in progress to go away. Let me tell you about how I brought, I bought groceries. <laughs> well, I thought I bought groceries. I went through all of the steps of buying groceries, except placing the order. Can we talk about that? <laughs> I did everything except place it. I I thought I hit the place button, but I apparently hit the continue button. I know. I know. I think I, it's nothing we need tonight. It's stuff we need tomorrow, but I never I never hit the button. <laughs> Yeah, if you're subbed or if you have an ad blocker, they don't play. Well, the ad blocker's kind of finicky. Sometimes it'll play and sometimes it won't. You don't have to disable your ad blocker for this, though. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't know. Maybe Twitch is like, you're, you're the favored one. Maybe. I can't describe it. Just like I can't describe why I didn't hit the place order button. <laughs> All my stupid groceries. Oh, man. Alright. I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. 
You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Ah, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Cat. Hey, have you found the magic wand yet? My room's on the second floor. Okay. Which way do we go, buddy? Do we go this way? Yo, wait, hold on, hold on. Y'all, you can pet the cat. You can pet the cat. I'm sorry. This is, this is my favorite thing. I'm gonna name you Franklin. Why can't I pet you? Is it because you're working? Is it because you're a working cat right now? I hope I get to pet you later. Because you're doing a very good job. Can I sit down? No. I'm coming, I'm coming. This cat's so chill. Can we run? No. Now I'm going too fast. Okay. I understand, cat. I'll go at your pace. This way? Yeah, okay. Oh! More cats! Alright. You're Frankie? Oh! H hi! Can I- can, can I talk to you? No? Okay. Look at that stretch. Guys, look at that stretch. That's a good-ass cat stretch. Oh my god. I'm sorry, this is going to be me the entire game. Look at that stretch. Alright, so we got we got Franklin, we got Frankie. This one will be um Elliot. Look at you. You're so cute. I'ma pet you again. I like how you pet the cat and it immediately licks. I knew a cat where if you patted her uh like her her lower back like near her tail she would immediately start licking whatever was closest the table anything there her tongue was on it she was so cute oh hey man what's up hey slow down dude the traffic's bad enough as it is you want me to hit your fancy car huh oh you talking to that man I was about to say, I'm just walking here. I love you. Freshly fried simol, hot and fresh. Comet simol? I don't know if I'm saying that right, so I'll have to look up the pronunciation later. Hmm. Maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. I'll have a spoonful of that hot sauce. Just one? Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. <laughs> it looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? It's so funny. Kids doing what kids do best. Let's go. Behold, the great comet of doom has shown up in the sky. The stars are dying. The sky is falling. Disasters, disease, floods, and droughts are ravaging the land. Can't you see it? The mountains are trembling, ready to erupt at any time. Judgment day is coming. Death is upon us. The omen has been fulfilled. I love his idol animation. Salvation is on the way. Join me and be among the chosen few who will be forgiven and survive this calamity. Is that all you gotta say? What's up, man? Oh, wandering soul! Did you see last night's news? The Comet of Doom has finally come! Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million rupia, you can own this spirit-infused gemstone made from meteorite. I wonder how much that is. I 
I'm just automatically assuming. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely... Yeah, 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 yeah. How much is that? Um, let's see. One million. Oh. One million rupiah is 66 US dollars. It's a holy talisman that will save you from the cataclysm. What? You don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by... Uh... The famous oracle... Jayabaya himself. What? You haven't got any money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed then. God damn. Okay, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> this cat is so well behaved. No worries. I hope you have a good day, Sir Kunima. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Where did that brat go? He still hasn't done his homework. Can I talk to you? No. Alright, let's go. My beautiful, my beautiful companion. Thank you! I really appreciate it. Sup, dude? What do you think? Huh? What? Uh, I'm sorry? About this, uh... About this Karakon beat. It's a mixtape I recorded myself. So what do you think? Uh... Yeah. Cool. Totally awesome. Dude. Oh. I know, right? Not everyone appreciates Karonkan, especially these days. It's an old music genre, bought over by the uh, colonials and then perfected by us locals. It's soothing, you know? A perfect company for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape, my treat. Huh? Oh, no, no, you don't have to. Please, dude, it's such a rare occasion. Meeting a fellow Karonkan music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Uh, thank you very much, I guess. I got a cassette tape. <laughs> I don't really understand Karong, uh, Karongkan music, though. It's the thought that matters, my guy. It's the thought. You made him happy. Why can't I pet you? When will I be able to pet you? This is the most- this is the number one question I have. Don't look away from me. Oh, a ladder. There's a sign on this ladder. This ladder is property of the Civil Defense Department. Nothing happened. In today's news, another interstellar comet was sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet spotted this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency have released an official statement regarding these peculiar events. Huh. Looks like the world's gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. Yeah, I have the same feeling, Tara. I have the same feeling. I think it's gonna make me sad, too. Hey, when can I interact with you? Seems like I should be able to interact with you. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Her house should be on this block. Ah! Uh oh, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Dewey. Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. <sighs> What's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter... Lately, she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband. Well... Things aren't going well with this boss. He's been a little stressed over... Well... Over the money we had to borrow to get uh, Nirmala into school. And... He's taking it all out on Nirmala. Sob. Today, she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my. I'm so sorry to hear that. Why is she scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to him about all of this, but I don't really know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about it on the way? Yes, yes. That's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. 
That's what numbers are for, right? Where did I go? Oh, okay. They're gone. Now's my chance. This must be your house. I don't... I don't... The gate's locked, but her father is likely inside. It'll be dangerous to go through the front door. Maybe it'd be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her? But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky. But I have to get that magic wand for her. What should I do? Boss with the... With the save. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, that window on the second floor must lead directly into her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? Oh, don't worry. I know exactly how. I might be able to reach the second floor if I can climb up this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. If only there was something I could climb or stand on. I got you, buddy. I got you with the assist. Let's go. Oh, hey. Busy. Oh. Oh, I actually yawned. God damn it. <laughs> I'm always so busy and sleepy. Exactly what an exemplary, low paid civil defense officer should be. I'm sorry. Hey, kid, what are you doing with my ladder? I, uh, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really sturdy. And chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see I'm already busy enough? I wish I... <laughs> you get some sleep, though. Damn, I definitely... I could definitely use this ladder to get to Nirmala's room. Do I have anything else I could use? Oh, don't worry. The magic red book. Can I use it right now? I don't know. Let's find out, bitch. I'm sorry. I've been trying to voice act the yawn. But it makes me actually yawn. As soon as I read yawn. Whoa, that flower is blooming. I wonder what would happen if I made all the rest bloom too. Bro, you need to turn this alarm off. It won't turn off. What a strange clock. Alright. Yawn. So sleepy. Staying awake to see the comet last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake just by keeping busy, but now all I want to do is sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing noise. Not without turning off those damn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Kronkan music to de-stress. Yawn. All I want to do is sleep. Oh. There you go. Can I turn it off now? There we go. God damn it. Okay. What is this? A baton! Should I resort to violence? God damn. He really just broke it. Hmm. Yawn. This feels good. I'm going to close my eyes just for a minute. It can't hurt, right? Damn, that man passed the fuck out. <laughs> he really needed that sleep. Z. Z. 
Oh, wow. He's fast asleep already. Thanks to the magic red book, I guess. You won't mind if I borrow this ladder then, will he? Time to get that magic wand. Yoink. I just put it all in my pocket. The whole ladder. It's in my pocket. Can we climb up? Ah, that's how I climb down. Okay, let's climb back up. <laughs> Alright. I feel like as soon as we go back to the girl, she'll be not living anymore. I sure hope not. I sure hope she's okay. There it is, the Star Princess Magic Wand. I still can't believe how she managed to imagine all these wonderful things. What a creative, precious kid. I've got the magic wand. Oh! Brat! Open the door! You ungrateful kid! How dare you lock the door! You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! You're still doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I had to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled brat? Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before he smashes this door open. It's starting to rain. Nirmala should be waiting for me at base camp. Uh, is there anything else I could do this way? Nope. Oh. The road is closed due to residential activities. Oh, I got the magic wand. Okay. Um, we should put this ladder back. Wait, no! <laughs> okay, I'll just leave it here. Are you not allowed to say the D word on Twitch? I'm sure I can. I hope she's reached base camp by now. I just don't want to manifest it. I want her to be okay. Uh, this way. I mean, luckily the river looks okay right now, I think. Was it this way? Is this base camp? Where is she? She's not here yet? Help! Huh? Someone! Anyone! Help! Help! Somebody! That voice, don't tell me. Yo, I am rushing! I am rushing! Where is she? Hey! Help! Help me! I can't swim! Nirmala! Yo, I told her not to go into the lake! Help me! I can't swim! Damn. I can't swim either. H hang on. I have to find something to reach you. Just, just get here quickly, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. Got the magic wand. Here, try to grab this. Ah! Ah! I think you did too. Fuck. I mean, it's a scripted thing that was going to happen. Damn it. Sorry, I was startled by that thunder. Don't worry, I will get you out of here. Hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. Ugh. Easy. Easy. Just a little bit. Crap. Atma! Oh, bruh. Okay, maybe... A am I going to die? Gasp, I... I'm... Uh, coming. Ah, <laughs> To get you. Yo, we be in a... This don't look good. This don't look good for us. We'll make it. Together. 
This really ain't looking good for us. I have... We have... A story to finish. Right? Oop. That's not how I expected that to go. So, I love credits that this is, this is related but not related. I love credits that, like, can get integrated into, like, you know, whatever sequence that they're in. And I mean, this isn't wild. No, this is the beginning! This is the beginning, soul! Yeah, it's wild! Uh, I don't know. We drowned. <laughs> or we are drowning. Oh, hey, she's the one I kept seeing. Are you gonna, are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help us? The people that can't swim? A space for the unbound. Prologue. Atma. End. Yeah! Okay, this was all in the demo. Because the demo's the prologue. So that's one thing to note. I kind of forgot about it all. It's been quite a while since I played the demo. <laughs> Atma. Atma, hey! Wake up, you lazy bum! It's because maybe we were isekai I don't know. Hmm. Ugh. Where... Where am I? At school, silly. School? Why am I... Don't tell me you slept so deeply you lost your memories. I... Atma? You still remember who I am, don't you? Uh... The girl in my dream. The, the girl of your dreams? Hmm, well. <laughs> that, that's why you're dating me in the first place, isn't it? Hey, you're blushing. Hmm. It's Raya, you sleepyhead. Bro, Google, I ain't call for you. Look at you forgetting your own girlfriend's name right after you've opened your eyes. Never do that again or I'll get real mad at you. Yes, ma'am. Girlfriend, huh? I'm still so drowsy. That was a, a really wild dream. What year is it? No, <laughs> what time is it? Class is already over. You were having a really good sleep. Was I? I'm so tired. It doesn't feel like I slept at all. Mood. What happened? I had this weird dream taunting me. Weird dream? I hope I wasn't in it. Actually, you were. Hmm? Your face filled the entire sky. And you had this awful, creepy smile. What is that supposed to mean? Beats me. Huh. I spent the whole day taking notes in class for you, and you call me creepy? That's very rude, you know. You've been taking notes for me? Of course, here. Whoa, that's so nice of you. Thank you, Raya. What would you do without me, huh? Oh, also, by the way, we have ads in about 1 minute and 30 seconds. Thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue. It means you guys don't have to see pre-roll ads. If you don't want to see any ads, consider subscribing to me, or be cool like Terra, I guess. Um, you'll also get access to my subscriber emotes. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. 
Please enjoy a space for the unbound. Raya. Mr. Agung? <laughs> Can I help you? Still haven't done your future plan consultation. Oh, right. I'm sorry, sir. Come to the staff room as soon as possible. A model student like yourself shouldn't miss an opportunity pr to prepare for the future. Right. You haven't done it either, have you, Atma? Huh? Haven't. What? <sighs> Just make sure you two fill out this form. I'll wait for you in the staff room. Will do, sir. Hey, what is that? What is what? What is the future plan consultation? A meeting we seniors have with teachers to discuss what we plan to do after graduation. It's about grades, subjects, universities we're interested in. Ugh. I'm so in trouble. Why? I don't even know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. How am I supposed to know what to do after I graduate? Damn, Atma. What about you? I haven't decided on anything yet. I'm confused. I don't like it when adults involve themselves in my future. Yeah, me neither. I just want to make us into one of them. I want to choose my future, not one the adults would find acceptable or beneficial. The future you're still confused about. Yeah. Ugh, I don't feel like doing it right now. Then what should we do with the form? Hmm, let's see. Okay, my ads are running, so I'm gonna talk about something else while the ads are running, so that way we don't, um... No one loses anything. <laughs> this game is really relatable, ain't it? Yeah, the vibe is so good. It's so good. <laughs> I've been... I'm really, I'm really happy about this game so far. I know we're only, like, maybe an hour in. Maybe a little less, because I talked about food forever um but yeah i'm really i'm really enjoying it bila and i had a game written out that feels super similar funny enough you know soul i think you've mentioned this before i think we played this demo before and i think maybe you mentioned it then and i really want to know more about the game you guys have planned out but i also know that when it comes to ideas you got to keep them close to your heart so I understand. I will wait patiently until you guys become uh, mega multi-millionaires after you make this game. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like that sounds like a fun thing. But again, please don't feel pressured. Man, why do I have so many notifications on my phone? Like, my significant other makes fun of me. But I don't do it on purpose. Alright. Alright, my ads. Or at least ad manager says the ads are done. So let us go. Hmm. Let's see. What if we change this into... This. <laughs> Handsome Atma and Raya's epic bucket list. I'm just popular. <laughs> no, it's it's not like... Yeah, it'd be different if it were like notifications from like people talking to me, like actually being popular. But it's like, it's like Postmates notifications because Postmates sent me like a bazillion things. It's like Webtoons notifications, even though I haven't read a Webtoon in months. Um, It's like Google Discovery sends me like uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Um, like articles? <laughs> right? It's a mood! I want to read all these webcomics, but at this point, I've been away too long, and I don't have time. <laughs> like, I think at my prime, I was reading like 30 webcomics over a week. <laughs> it's a little too much. <laughs> anyway, epic bucket list. Yes. 
Write down anything you wanna do, even if it's silly. It's planning for the future, right? BRB grabbing food. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of food it is when you come back. I got rid of my Webtoons app specifically because of the notifications. It's like all the time. And like, I get it, but like, please. I know I could silence them, but ugh. And then I don't wanna like, I don't wanna get rid of the app. Cause I know one day I'll go back to some of those web comics. Like they were really good and I really enjoyed them. But goddamn. <laughs> what should I write? Whatever comes to mind. Hmm. Let me write something first then. Watch a movie with Atma. What movie should we watch? It doesn't matter as long as we go together. Yeah, they're cute. It's a date, then. You bet. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Collect all five letters of Yoman. Oh, that bubblegum brand? Each wrapper contains a letter from the word Yoman, right? Are you that keen to collect them? They say if you gather all the letters, you get a grand prize. What's the grand prize? A bike. Can you ride a bike? No. Mm. I mean, the thrill is in collecting the letters. He's right. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I really like this comic about kids with powers. I forgot what it was. Uh, so I have also been reading a comic about like twins with powers. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I remember I enjoyed it. If you say so. It's your turn. What's next? Have a pet cat. You like cats, huh? They're fur! They're purr! They're teeny tiny paws! Cats are the best. Me. I, I can purr too if you want. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Write your next one. Collect 20 bottle caps. Only 20? That's not many. Unless maybe they're unique ones? I used to have a collection of my favorite bottle caps. I've lost them and I want to start collecting again. Are they valuable? Well, they're... How can I put it? Sentimental. Over to you. Wanna write something else? Hmm, something delicious. You're craving something? Yeah, kind of. I want to... Eat an entire Black Forest Ghetto. <laughs> it, entirely? Entirely! A big one? The biggest one! Okay, you're up now. Beat the Future Fighter high score. Those are so huge. How could she eat that? Listen, sometimes the eyes are bigger than the stomach, but we still gotta try it. <laughs> Future Fighter? Yeah, it's my favorite arcade game. It's notoriously hard to beat the high score. Oh, good luck with that, hero. What's next, Raya? What sort of party? Not sure, but we're gonna have so much fun. You can do the next one. This is it. <laughs> Pet the fluffiest animal known to man. What is the fluffiest animal? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to pet all the animals in town to find the fluffiest one. Legend says the Fluffistaurus still worms the streets. I think you spend too much time daydreaming, Atma. What's next? Bright lights dancing in the dark. Aren't they romantic? Yeah, I love the smell when they burn. Now your turn. Ah, listen to music and bawl my eyes out. Huh. I didn't realize you would enjoy crying over something. 
It's not all about the crying. It's about listening to music or reading a book and feeling something so strong that it moves you. Have you ever felt something like that before? I haven't been moved by reading or listening to something in a while, actually. Is there anything else to add to our bucket list? I can't think of anything special. Special? Hmm. How about we make the last one on the list something like this? Find some precious treasure. What treasure? It's mysterious. That's what makes it special. Y'all, I didn't set my uh, alarm. I don't remember when I took my medicine. I think it's been at least half an hour though. It's okay. It would be great if we could present this list for the future consultation. By the long face. Well, we're almost done with high school. It feels like when high school ends, the whole world might go with it. Ugh. I don't want to think about that stupid consultation thing. How about we do something from the list right now? Now? As as in right now? Yeah, it'll be fun. Come on. For your girlfriend, please. This character, Atma, reminds me of me as a kid before people started to make fun of me and I moved away from the West Coast. Ah, I see. He seems like a pretty good main character, so I think that's good. I think that's chill. I think that's, uh, that's cool for you. Like, if you had to be reminded of any character that reminds you of you, I'm glad it's Atma and not, like, Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? It's been a while since we went to the movies together. Yes, let's skip the future consultation. Skip school? Mr. Agung just said you are a model student. Hey, welcome back! What kind of food do you have? Please, I need to know. I'm a model student, not a slave. I want to skip school once in a while. Fried rice and chicken. Yeah, that's good. I hope you enjoy it. Well, if you say so. Come on, I'm looking forward to skipping the consultation session. You skip classes now and then, Atma, so... How do you do this class skipping thing? First, by not announcing it loudly. <gasps> okay, now what? Grab your bag, we're out of here. We're going to walk straight out? Yeah. Be confident about it, and Okay. Don't let any teachers see you. Hey, wait for me. Best place to sleep at school. A clean desk, books neatly arranged, and a bottle of mineral water. That's Raya for you. And is that a cat plushie? Oh, hold on. Some empty snack wrappers. <gasps> hey, that's a limited edition fizzy drink. Darn it, it's empty. Yo, he was about to steal someone's fucking drink! <laughs> Some notebooks and a... Sun? Block? You can block the sun? Umbrella in a bottle? Koala Cola. World Cup Edition. Very sporty looking. Where did Raya go? She's surprisingly fast. Oh! Ouch! Ow, what the- Ah! Uh. Crap, I crashed into someone. You were standing stationary! I'm sorry, are you hurt? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. Are you okay? Fine, I guess. Oh, look, you dropped your book. Huh? Atma and... Ruff. This isn't my book. Hm? Strange. It's not mine either. Wait, somehow I feel like... I 
I've seen this book before. What do you mean? Was it... in my dream? I'm not sure. Your, your name's on the cover. What? Atma, that, that's you, right? Yeah, but how? Are you sure it's not yours? Let's see. If I remember correctly, I only bought the clothes I'm wearing, my glasses, and my hairband. I didn't bring any books. All of mine are still in the library. Maybe somebody else dropped it? It has your name on it, though. That's a fair point. Saying you don't own this book is an interesting statement. This book is, objectively, a real object. It has your full name on it, but you don't believe you own it? Maybe you have short-term memory loss. It's usually caused by a violent impact to the head. But I was walking from the schoolyard to the library at moderate speed. Crashing into a girl much weaker than you wouldn't cause you any head trauma. If it's not memory loss, either delusional or... You're lying. I... I'm so sorry, sometimes I talk too much. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> All I'm saying is the most plausible situation is that you own that book, even though you don't remember it, Atma. Hmm. Okay. Wait, you know my name? We're in the same class, you don't remember? Huh, really? <laughs> You're always asleep. The fact that you don't know me isn't surprising. It's still rather rude. Hi, Beetel! Welcome! It is such a cute art style, isn't it? This girl... Is she looking down on me? N nonsense I know you, you're... Um... Classmate, hey! You! You don't know my name, do you? No, I don't. Sorry. May I know your name? My name is Marine. I'm Atma. I know that. Well, I've gotta go. Take care of your book, Atma. But it's not... Well, I... I mean, sure. What is this book? I don't remember seeing what's written inside in my dream. A little peek wouldn't hurt anyone, right? Objectives. The owner of this book must be a determined person, unlike me. Ah, oh, well. This is a good place to keep the bucket list I made with Raya. I feel motivated already. Oh, a map! Someone drew a map of Loka City. Looks neat, too. These interactions are so wholesome, I love it. The writing is impeccable. I know! I know, it's so good! Inventory. Maybe I could write down what I have in my possession since I'm a little forgetful. A list of collectibles, huh? I could stick photographs next to them. This is a nice way to preserve precious memories. Huh? Strange. There's a lot of missing pages in this section. The pages have been torn out. I don't know whether Marion was right or not. Maybe that's something to do with that nightmarish dream I had. I guess it doesn't hurt to keep a notebook around. I could even use the power in my dream with this. That <laughs> lame joke. This is real life after all. There's a note. Wet paint. Do not cross. Okay, where is my silly GF gone? Raya, where are you? Has she already left? How dare you try to skip the afternoon class! Crap! No, no, we're not. We're just, you know, going to the toilet, sir. Yes, Mr. Agung, and looking for snacks. You all know why you have to attend the afternoon class, don't you? For your own good. But other kids skip it too. Shh, you moron. What? And you let them leave? You're all still young. Have you ever thought about what your future might be if you spent your youth like this? Don't you know who else like to skip classes? Corrupt officials. You want to end up as embezzlers? Go to jail? Disappoint your parents? 
Afternoon classes are just glorified detention. I can hear you. Eek! Well, I can't leave school through the gate. Hearing Mr. Agung wailing like a banshee is enough to drive anyone away. I should find another way. <gasps> cat! Have we ever met Kitty Cat? <gasps> bruh! Bruh! I can give him names! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, you're Fran. Good to see you, Fran. Fran, I love you. Fran, please, I love you so much. Psst. Did you hear about Eric and his friends? <laughs> so see to be like, don't become a corrupt official. <laughs> I get it. What is it? Sometimes they skip school by climbing the wall behind the cafeteria. Damn, that's pretty ballsy. I guess that's what I'm doing. I'll get caught if I walk any closer. I should find another way. Alright, let's go. I think the funniest thing about it is like... Sure, I'm becoming a corrupt official. But I'm still becoming an official. Like... I still got some good fucking credits here. For skipping school. Did you hear that the librarian removed all the comic books from the library? What a party pooper. Comic books are literature too. Your future comes naturally. It doesn't mean you necessarily have to work hard in my opinion. That's fair. I think it's like a... You make choices. Your future is gonna come regardless, but you know, you make choices that... Shape your future. Oh no! Grr! Kids these days don't care about their future! Grumble grumble. Where is that Atma? He won't escape. Not this time. Why are the teachers looking for me? I have to be careful. If I'm careful, I could sneak past the teacher behind this wall. It's worth a try. Fuck. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I get it, I get it, okay. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Multiple teachers. I love how I'm just like such a kid that skips school that all of the teachers are looking out for me. It's just really funny. It seems very in character. Oh! Hello! Hey, I've never seen you before. Warlord! Come on, let's go, Warlord! Good to see you, Warlord. Yeah! Warlord! Classic Cola... Koala Cola. Only, uh... Hold on. I looked this up. I think it's Rupina? Only 500 peanut per bottle. Warlord starred by Chris Pratt. <laughs> what y'all gotta say? Hey. Hey, Atma, wanna join our club? Eh? What club? Oh, my controller died. Hold on. I was like, I'm pressing the button. Let me plug it in. Well, uh -huh. no mountain is too tall, and no cliff too steep to stop our adventure. We are the Hiking Club!
Can I lay down and read books in the mountains? What are you talking about? This club is about endurance. You can't lay down. But we could read a mountain climbing manual together. What a pity. If only you could see us in action. We would entice you with the very art of the climb. Why can't I? You could show me right now. It's the new guy. He keeps missing our practice. To sleep, of all things. He has our climbing equipment. It's a disaster. I told you it was a bad idea to give the new guy inventory duty. That must be what I need. It's too tall to climb over. There must be a way to climb over it. If only I had some tools. Why to open books? Yeah, you joined the climbing club? You'd have to say that spiel every time, is that okay? Every time you meet someone new. Yo, where the new kid? It's fine, I'd do it. Fair enough. Alright, y'all know where this kid is? I bet the new guy's asleep somewhere quiet. With our tools, ugh. That's it, we'll practice on our own. Uh, he's probably in the library then. Okay. She's looking dead at me, but okay. Oh. Come on, buddy. Also looking dead at me, but okay. Whew. I don't think he sees me all the way back here, but... You know, just in case. Oh yeah, it's open. Let's go. You got nothing to say? Oh. A first edition of Catch Me, I'll Hit You. An installment in the popular Whoopa series. These books are surprisingly interesting. Suddenly, I could go for some gum. She and the Light Bearer. I had this picture book as a child. It has a talking potato in it. I wouldn't eat my fries for months afterwards. <gasps> I want fries! That's what I want with dinner. World Atlas. Wait, someone put a note with blue ink in it. All these countries to visit, but all I want is to explore our future together. That's cute. Hey, you... We just learned her name. Come on, buddy. Hey, remember me? <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Marine, right? <laughs> um, nothing much. We looked at some books. We talked to Marine. We're about to take this rope from this sleeping kid. You don't mind if I borrow this rope, right? Thanks, man. Man, it's passed the fuck out. Hello, viewers! Back again with the hottest gossip in the country! The mysterious comet could be seen in the sky yet again last night at around 9 p.m. What could this comet be? And more importantly, what is the universe trying to tell us? Today we're joined by the best psychic in the country to help us decode the truth. Right after this commercial. Careful, Atma. It's no good watching TV all day. That's the achievement I got. Man, she really just got nothing to say. Okay. Huh? The teachers are gone. Sweet. Yeah, let's fucking go. The cafeteria was crowded today. Some things were even sold out. But just like usual, the amount of food remaining and the money we made don't add up. Suppery kids. I didn't do anything. Hey guys. That's our rope. Now you can climb your first mountain, Atma. If you want to climb more mountains, join our team. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna climb your mountain. <laughs> Nothing beats using a rope to climb over a wall to skip school. If you can afford it, don't steal food. That's true. I don't know if these kids can afford it. Huff. Huff. Oh, hold on. I just had a thought. And my thought was, um... My thought was, I don't have my hot keys open. Which is fine. I haven't been using them right now. But, if someone redeemed the, uh, the pixel thing, I'd be in trouble. Anyway. <laughs> that was unexpectedly difficult. Maybe I should consider joining that climbing club. Also, as a heads up, we have ads in 15 seconds. Thank you so much for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue. It means you guys don't have to watch pre-roll ads. If you don't want to see any ads, consider subscribing to me. Or. Not or. Or don't. That's fine. I hope you enjoy either way. But if you do subscribe to me, you'll get access to my subscriber emotes. Also, you can redeem it whenever you want. I uh, I opened it. I opened my hotkeys. Um right when I said it. So they're active now. <laughs> if you wanted to, you can. But you don't have to, obviously. <laughs> Redeems it. <laughs> poof. Do the poof. Poof. It's me! Pixel Sasu! With my tea. What's the tea? The tea is, I have tea. You've never seen this. It's new. It's new as of December. <laughs> it is strange. It's new. I like it though. It's fun. Yeah, it's the ad time. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay. What can I talk about during the ad time? Okay, so we were talking about like superfoods um, earlier. We were talking about the, the chip. The carob chip. So it reminded me, um, uh, for my, for at work, I'm part of one of my employee resource groups and, um, we were doing blog stuff. And so in the blog stuff, um, I was looking up like, uh, flora and fauna in, um, in Africa. And so one of the things that I found was that um, in one of the lakes in Central Africa, it's um, full of like this algae called um, spiruluna and um, spirulina. And the thing about this algae is that people use it as like kind of a dietary supplement superfood. And so they'll have it in like powder or like pill form. And it's good for like your vitamin C and your vitamin B. Oh, hi! Thank you for the raid, Metal Maiden Nunu. Let me shout you out. Let me give you... Let me give you the uh, government Twitch mandated shout out and then my cool shout out. I hope that you are having a very good... Fr it's Friday! I hope you're having a very good fry. Yay! It's been a really good day for me. So I hope you guys are having a good day too. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> that did exactly. Fry, yay, exactly. How did Minecraft go for you? Did you build all the mines? Did you craft all the mines? I made the same joke. Thank you for following Bro and I appreciate it. Did you run into creepers? That's like the thing that I hate the most. <laughs> I was doing the hardcore challenge and then I died, so I had to restart. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, so I am not informed with the Minecraft things. What is the hardcore challenge? Is it just like going through it without dying? <laughs> Creeper. Aw, oh, man. I've never heard that whole song. I've only heard the beginning. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um... No, no, I think I've heard the refrain. You have to survive without dying, and everything is on the highest difficulty. That's wild. That's wild. I'm sorry that the creeper killed you. I hope 
Let me move my mic back. It's like making me, it's making me like f freak out. <laughs> um, I hope that next time it works out better for you. <laughs> Beetles being a little silly. Thank you for sharing your community with me. I really appreciate it. For those that are new, we are playing a game called A Space for the Unbound. It is about uh, two high school sweethearts as they come on the end of their high school years. And um, it's in 90s rural Indonesia. And they're kind of dealing with maybe the end of the world. We don't know. The pixel style is amazing. Um... The game so far has been very uh, gripping story-wise, and yeah, that's about what we're doing. We just skip school by climbing over a wall, or we're, we're in the midst of skipping school by climbing over the wall. <laughs> also, our girlfriend, who um, she is a model student, she has skipped school for the first time. Somewhere. She's somewhere. We're trying to find her. She's fast. Yeah, this isn't usual of me. I'm pixel me right now. Thanks to a redeem. I'm beautifully pixel to match this game. <laughs> yeah. Woo, corruption. <laughs> I'm out of school. This is my favorite idol. This is my favorite animation so far, I think. Even though I really like the stretch idol animation, this one's really good. Now I have to meet up with Raya. What's this? Oh! Old man's grape concoction. Is this one alcoholic? I've been picking up bottle caps. Nowadays, people throw things away without a care in the world. This old roof tile looks sturdy enough. Am I taking it? No, I can't take it. Okay. Just looking at it. Also, for those caught up on my uh, grocery adventures, my shopper has started on my grocery shop, grocery, my groceries, my delivery, my order. <laughs> there we go. Um, and it's the grocery person I really like. It's the delivery person I really like. Whoa, where do you think you're going, buddy? Shoo! God damn, okay. Fucking lame ass biker gang, bye. Whoa, did you skip school too? Hey, good job, buddy. Now sit. He's not listening to me today. What's going on, boy? You've been restless all day. Whimper. Yeah, they, like, look at all these kids. Encouraging delinquency to randos. Listen, all these kids already out. They're all gonna be corrupt officials! <laughs> hey, I've never seen you before. Husky, Adele, Mutt. That one! You guys can't see it, but I'm pointing at the screen. That one! <laughs> mustache, hello! You're fluffy as always, mustache! I love you! I only skipped school in my senior year. Me too, actually. I'm gonna talk to this security guard. Wait, <laughs> the security guard knows me. <laughs> hey, Atma. Hello. Mr. Gung was looking for you and your lady friend. Oh, crap. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I want to tell him you two are here on a date, smooching and everything. That's a colorful way to put it. But thank you. I skipped school so much. I'm just buddy-buddy with the security guard. That's wild. Huh? There's a torn envelope here. The letter is nowhere to be found. From Sediawan to Shri. Well, the stamp is still intact. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I slept in class a ton. A lot. All the time. Oh, there she is. There you are. You took way too long. I had to take a detour, you know. The teachers launched a manhunt to find me. I shouldn't be too surprised. Skipping school is all the thrill, right? It's all about the thrill, right? But still, you took way too long. Uh, 
I really want to know this. How did you manage to get out of school so fast? I had my way. Maybe I'm talented at skipping school. Meow. You agree as well, huh? Good kitty. Purr. Hey, why don't we... Ah, uh, gone. Okay, okay. So like a, so like a long-o. Okay. Uh, actually, did I do that right? Gong? No, like, uh... Soon. A goo- Like, a goon? Does that sound right? Uh, I'll say it again, just in case. Uh, Mr. Agu- Agoon- Hold on. Hold on. Uh, being. Agoon. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. I will try to remember that. I'll probably write it down somewhere. I'll start making a pronunciation guide. Because I do really want to respect these names when I can. And by when I can, I mean all the time. All the time, I'm going to respect these names. <laughs> Hey, why don't we buy some cat food for her? Where can we buy cat food? I heard Karunia uh, Dejaya's general store has everything. Let's check there first. I will find money. Oh, right. I forgot you bought five packs of fried rice during break this morning. I respect him. You always say that you can't resist the smell of them frying the garlic. Do I? You do! <laughs> Typical Atma. Well, about the money. Why don't you check your pocket? You might have some coins left. I told you, I don't have any- Hey Raya, what the fuck? Whoa, you're right. I still got some money. How deep is this pocket? Moral of the story, always listen to your girlfriend. Of course, you're the smart one here. Meow. Look, she's hungry. Let's check the general store. Yes, ma'am. Yo, the cat going with us. Let's go. Hold on. Raya got superpowers. Yeah, that's what I think too. Sorry. <laughs> when I'm too loud. Um, my model goes everywhere. <laughs> Lin Tong Festival 2XXX. Um, I'm probably going to take the shake feature off of this one in particular. <laughs> Prepare for the best Lin Tong Festival at it. You can shout again. <laughs> Beetle's like, I want to see you move. I want to see you jiggle. I don't even think that's loud enough. What do, what do I have to say to be loud enough for you? Please, pixel model. We'll figure it out. Um, oh, hold on. Give me one second. Just scream. I don't want to just scream into the mic. That might have worked, though. Um, I didn't hear the story, actually. Hold on, hold on. Was there a food safety concern? Sorry, I'm answering questions about eggs. Um, I'll take Vital Farms. Vital Farms seems good to me. Um, should, should I stop eating my eggs then? Egg questions, my favorite. <laughs> we don't buy eggs all that often, but when we do, um, no, I can't say that. We actually buy eggs pretty often. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's like an egg problem. I haven't really been eating my eggs recently. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Prepare for the best Ling Tang festival ever. Guys, I can't just scream on command, but if it happens, 
Just yell about. Oh, there it is. <laughs> What kind of festival is this? Okay, Beetle. <laughs> Come on, let's get the cat food for her. <laughs> I can't just scream on command, I say. Oh, okay, things I learned today. I think I knew about this before. I think I learned about this from Beatrice. Um, and by Beatrice, I mean Brumblebee on Twitch. I love Brumblebee on Twitch. Everyone go follow Brumblebee. She's from New Zealand and I love her. Um, for no reason, I'm going to shout her out. <laughs> I think she's Brumblebee TV. I love Brumble. She was playing Minecraft earlier. We were talking about Yakuza. Anyway, the eggs. The eggs. <laughs> I was talking to Brumble about the eggs. And apparently there's been like some bird crisis recently. And so there's like kind of a shortage on eggs. Um, so they kind of come and go in waves. So if you're like, damn, why eggs like 10 bucks? That's probably why. I actually bought my eggs today for 5 bucks. Which is still a little bit more expensive than they usually are but that's why it's been a while since this movie was shown at the cinema the poster is worn away i feel bad whenever more than one of the streamers i like are streaming i can't watch both listen i follow so many streamers mostly like they're either mutuals or like i want to see them or like when i raid and like I feel that in the depths of my soul, Terra. It's so hard. It's so hard to pick and choose who I want to see. Dump the dum, dump go dum. Huh? What? You can't pass through here. Oh, it's a flower. There are words written on the plaque. With the grace of God Almighty. This monument was, inaugura it was inaugurated on May 31st, 1980 to commemorate the 667th Loka City Founding Day. Sorry, Atma, we're busy over here. Play somewhere else. They seem busy. I should find another way. Well, I was going to re-say it, but I missed it. <laughs> Sorry. Koala Cola. After the financial crisis, the price jumped to a lot. Wow. That's like double the price. Fun science trivia. Know your body. Volume 3. Desquamation, commonly called skin peeling, is the shedding of the outermost membrane of la or layer of skin uh, tissue, such as the skin. Sorry, I'm trying not to think about the episode of Dirty Laundry I watched with Beetle and Soul earlier. <laughs> Psst, Atma, kid, want a cigar? No, thank you. Cigarettes are not good for your body. <laughs> Great episode. <laughs> Damn it. I got the O letter again. I give up. There's no way I can get the rest of the letters. I'd rather collect something more reasonable, like stamps. Yeah, that would do it. It's a very elegant hobby, right? Yo, Atman, what do you think? Yeah, I think Philately is very sophisticated. What? Philately is very sophisticated. Damn right. You know what? Help a guy out here. What do you want, kid? I don't know where to start with the whole stamp collecting thing. Why don't you get me one? In return, I will give you this O letter. And we all have better luck collecting the rest than I did. Here you go, bitch. Ooh, that's a stamp right there. Perfect. Here you go. The O letter is promised. We'll try politely next. Right, Atma? <laughs> that's the achievement that I unlocked. 
I want to pet the cat too. Come on. Come on. Let me pet the cat too. Oh my god. Welcome! Are you a wedding guest? No, sorry, wrong turn. You're here for the wedding too? What a shame, the poor groom's bride is a... <laughs> yes, so oh, what a shame. Yeah, I better go. Cool bike. There aren't a lot of rich kids at school. I wonder who owns it. What a beautiful wedding. Now, where do they keep cat food? Bookkeeper, cashier, cleaner. I do everything myself. I should get a raise. Oh, wait. I'm self-employed. Chocolate flavored chichi balls. Delicious. But the cat can't eat chocolate. Bruh, you can't feed cats chocolate. Oh, right now, sea flute. Sea flute. <laughs> seaweed flavor, huh? It's a cracker, not a net. Nor seaweed. Definitely not cat food. I don't think anyone's feeding the cat's chocolate. <laughs> Manta soda. This fruity fizz looks refreshing. It's so hot today. No, hell no. The cat can't drink this. This is harder than it should be. Hey, I couldn't help but overhear your loud grumbling. You're looking for cat food, right? I think it's next to the cashier. Wait, I gotta go back there! I gotta go back! <laughs> yep, right here. Uh... Hold on. Why did the music change for this lady? I don't know. Also, Beetle. The boy just tells me you made a clip. Post that clip. <laughs> Here, one pack of cat food. Thank- Uncle, your customer was confused. Why didn't you help out? Oh, it's you, Lulu. I have so much to do, you know. You posted on Twitter. Okay, no, that's fine. I'll go look at it on Twitter later. Cleaning shelves, checking incoming goods. Besides, you're here to help me. Don't get used to it. I'm a customer too, Uncle. There's someone who can help you. Why don't you ask Eric? No, no, my son is no good. He cares only for his motorbike. He never even studies. I try to beat some sense into him every day. What a bothersome boy. Beating him is not a good thing, Uncle. Try talking to him. You're still young, Lulu. You'll understand when you have a kid of your own. Yo, look at how bright his head is. Ugh, like father, like son. They're so hard to talk to. Oh, you're still here. Eavesdropping much? I, I just wanted to say thanks for your help with the cat food. It's nothing. I'm Lulu, by the way, and you're... Uh, Atma. You're wearing our school uniform, but I've never seen you before. I ain't seen you either. What? I'm Lulu? Lulu Octavianti? President of the student council last year? That doesn't ring any bells? Everyone knows me. That was a cute snap. Not everyone, apparently. You're weird. Well, thanks for finding this for me. I gotta go. Take care, weird guy. I need to go this way. I need to go this way. Please. There's something on the floor. 
There we go. Pixie Cola, Koala Cola's most esteemed rival. Okay, don't I gotta pay for this? We only sell the best goods. Yes, yes. You can go once you've paid. There we go. Thank you for the purchase, kiddo. Come again. Oh, okay. Pretty good cat food. Boy! Bad dog! Come here! Oh no, the dog. Woof, woof. The dog that's not sitting. That's not paying attention to him. That's been really restless since yesterday. Which also happened to be the day that the comet showed up. Grr. Hiss. Oh, you got your own meow. Okay. Oh no, how did this happen? What's going on? Aunt Mother Cat, she... Wait, boy, wait. <sighs> Atma, Atma, hurry. We have to help the cat. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yes, but what a shame about the groom's bride, I know. Where did the cat go? No, no, no. There, through that gate. Let's go. Bruh, I'm... There we go. Hold on. What's this? <laughs> Buddy, I thought that'd be useful. Huff, huff. Spare a coin, young lad. I could use some money for food. Uh, yeah, buddy. Oh, I better save this money for something else. Sorry, beggar. Mr. Beggar. Let's go through this gate. Hold on, do I need the bike for anything? This bike is actually in good condition. Do I know anyone that could give it a good home? There! That tree! Okay, if the cat's in the tree, it's good. Alright, she's good. Bow wow! Grr! Woof! Felt that. Yo, what's at your feet, dog? Oh, shoot! What should we do? There must be a way to drive the dog away. Oh, hi! scared me. Okay, let's try this. Hey, doggy doggy, look what I got. Grr. Bow wow. Grr. Woof. What do I got? What was that? Oh, a stick. Yo, that dog don't even care about the... Does it? No, I don't care. Uh. <laughs> I don't care about the stick. <laughs> ignored. Completely ignored. Uh, maybe it's interested in something else? Hmm. Oh, the guy chasing him before. Wasn't that the dog's owner? Right, we can ask him. Good idea, Atma. Okay, I'll find a way to calm it down. Can you stay and look after the cat? Okay, please be quick. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm running so fast. Uh, uh, I can't keep up with him anymore. I lost his favorite toy. Now he's angry. Oh, bitch, me too. I'd also be angry. I dropped it near the general store. When I tried to look for it, it was already gone. Alright, alright. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, you got it. The sun. Is that the dog toy that the dog, mentor uh, dog owner mentioned? Who is he? That uniform. Is he one of the students from my school? Maybe I could just ask him to get the dog toy. Hey, that's... Huh? Isn't that a dog toy? Where'd you get it? That's none of your business, prick. Could I have it? Puh, sorry for not seeing your tail earlier. I didn't realize you needed to chew on this. What? No, there's this dog that... Hey, woof woof! Buzz off! Go whine to someone who gives a damn. What's your problem, dude? I'm asking you nicely. You can at least answer properly. You're the problem, mutt. Some random kid coming out of nowhere. 
flirting with girls, doing whatever you want. Okay, so do you have a dog toy because you're a dog boy, huh? You're a little puppy? <laughs> and you're dumb enough to try and tell me what to do? This is very advanced flirting. I don't... It's so advanced, I don't even know I'm being flirted with. <laughs> don't you know who I am? I'm Eric. My gang rules this town. So you better watch yourself around us. Okay, look. Just let me have the toy and I won't bother you anymore. Oh, you want it so bad, huh? Oh, you hate me so bad, you want to kiss me? <laughs> well, life's been rough lately, you see. I need to loosen up a bit. Hey? I had to ride my bike into the sunset, smoking a big cigar. But what a tragedy, I don't have any on me. You want me to get you a cigar? I wouldn't ask, but you just offered like the good puppy you are. There, there. Go fetch me a pack of cigars, mutt. Man? Buddy? <laughs> like... Hold on! Have I met this cat? I ain't seen you before. Soap. I'm feeling soap. But are you wobbly? Are you missing a leg? Um, I can't name you wobbly if I don't know. Soap. Eric is blowing off some steam, all right. Indeed. Oh, we have ads starting soon. Sorry. Thank you for watching the ads. I really appreciate it. It helps me gain ad revenue. It means that you guys don't have to watch pre-roll ads. If you don't want to see any ads, please consider subscribing to me. You'll also get access to my subscriber emotes. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Woo! Pretty far. Pretty far in the favor train. Bro, if anyone talked to me like that, I'd punch them. Indeed. I heard what's going- How? How did you hear what's going on? You got, like, extra special hearing? Um, I can explain. Don't worry, man. No questions asked. You need a cigar, right? I have one right here. I even give you a discount. Only 1,500 rupiah for my buddy. Are, are you sure you won't get into trouble selling it to a high schooler? I saw them the kids even younger than you. Bruh. Isn't that... Illegal? <laughs> business is business, my friend. Okay, let me let me give you the money. No, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> a, a corrupted official right here! Welcome back. Thanks for the cigar. I promise it's not for me. Hold on, is that the same cat? Yeah, it's the same cat. <laughs> Nothing's illegal if you don't get caught. Truer words have not been spoken, my friend. Here. Oh, what a good boy! Should I give you a pat? Eric. Eric, are you good? <laughs> Just stop it. Can I have the dog toy out now? Hey, dog. I have a name. It's Atma. Whatever, just answer one question before I give you this. Is there anything between you and Raya? None of your business. It's a little too hard for a mongrel to answer, huh? You want an answer and that's my answer. He really wants this boy! Quit this nonsense. And don't go back on your word. A cigar for a dog toy. Oh, such an accusation. I'm not a dog like you. I'm a man of my word. And yet you're playing with the dog toy. Hmm? Here. Go run and wag your tail elsewhere. I hope I get to punch this guy. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. <laughs> Bite him like a dog. Yeah. Eric gave it because he got rejected. Bleh. Ugh, what the? It tastes like crap. Why do people like this? Oh my god. You're just a repressed soon. Oh my god. You're trying to be a bad boy, but you're a fucking punk. <laughs> That's so funny. So, 
So you're seeing Raya, huh? You're not single, are you? Okay, can I give you money now? God damn it. Alright, well, I got his dog toy. <laughs> yeah, he really is a poser. Woof! Woof! Oh! Sure looks happy, alright. Wanna play fetch doggy? Oh. <sighs> oh. Dog, I'm so sorry. I'll do better. I'll do better. I, I need to hold it. I'm so sorry. Are you are you happy? There we go. Out of the frame. Woof, woof, woof. What's up? Yeah, I know he's playing wobble dogs. I know. I I'm gonna watch right after this. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Nicely done, Atma. Yeah, save the cat! <laughs> Oh, the cat still looks very scared. Don't worry, kitty. I'll come up and get you. I am? Hold on. Hold on. I gotta- I gotta pick the- Can you move? Can you move? There's a thing under you. There's a thing! Ugh, I'll get it later. Woo! Am I gonna hurt myself? Is the cat gonna hurt themself? Be careful, Lama. It's okay, I've got this. Do I? <laughs> Do I got this? Here, kitty, I've got you. <gasps> the princess looked up to the night sky and thought... Yo, am I about to die again? It's time to say goodbye. To leave the world behind. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Oh, fuck. Give me a sec. God, I hate my fucking headset. My fucking headset. Sorry, it just... I keep disconnecting it from my phone and it keeps connecting back. And it's been really annoying. Anyway. Hold on, Nirmala. Atma! Atma! Superpower girl! Can we go back to regular Sesu now? Um, y'all got the power. I have it as a redeem. Atma, are you okay? I... what happened? You fell! Are you hurt? No, I don't feel any pain. What were you thinking? Be careful next time, dummy! Hey, calm down, I'm okay. There it is! Me! Default. How can I calm down? You're not a cat! Meow? This is no time for joking around. Till next Pixel Sesu. It's true. What was that meow about? That was silly. Huh. <laughs> Why are you meowing all of a sudden? That's really silly. <laughs> you were really brave up there. Thank you, Atma. Sorry for making you worry. Meow. She's safe. Poor soul, you're alright now. What is it? Has she always lived a life full of danger like this? Not to mention the heat or rain. Where has she been taking shelter? Living as a stray cat is tough, huh? Meow, mew. I can't take a cat home. Me neither. Why didn't she just get the cat down with her powers? I don't think she wanted to. I think it was really like a last ditch effort. 
What if we made her a house? What? We could build it here, a shelter and a safe place to sleep. Wouldn't that be great? That would be wonderful. Purr. She agrees. Well, where do we start? Did you buy cat food? I have it. Nice, then we need something to put her food in. A bowl, maybe? As for the shelter, we need a board of some kind. Something strong enough to make a sturdy wall for a cat house. And a pillow inside, so it's comfy enough for her to sleep. What do you think? A bowl for cat food, a board for shelter, and a pillow. That's easy enough. Well then, good luck! Wait, I'm searching for this stuff by myself? No, I'm gonna end very soon. Once you've got them, we'll build it together. I have something else to do here in the meantime. What is it? Finding her a name. What? Come on, don't keep her waiting. If you say so. Yeah, I was waiting for this event to finish. <laughs> I want... Yes, yes, I want this. I want this. Rhino soda. How could something locally produced be so expensive? I don't know how to save. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, this is actually where we're going to end for today. So good timing, good timing. Uh, let me switch to my just chatting screen. There we go. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I really hope you're enjoying A Space for the Unbound because I am. Yeah! Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. That, that's why, okay, I play these games for me. But I play demos so that way you guys can play, can see games that you might want to play. Um... But yeah, I really love indie games, y'all. I'm gonna get some food so I can't be here for when the raid happens. Uh, that is okay. You can also lurk if you want. Um, I think it'll automatically bring you, but if it doesn't, that's okay. But also, food is important. Yeah, it's such a cool game. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I may or may not stream over the weekend. Uh, I'll let you guys know via Discord, via Twitter via Twitch notification if I go live. <laughs> um, but other than that, I will see you guys on Mon Tuesday, probably. Most likely Tuesday for Pokemon. Um, yeah, thank you. We are going to raid my good friend, Prince Belleth, today. Um, he is new to VTubing, so I would really appreciate you giving him your support. Um, he is still pre-PNG model, but he's getting there. He's on a wait list. Um, he's working towards affiliate, and, um, I mean, he's an IRL friend. He's a really cool dude. Uh, he is playing Wobble Dogs. Let me tell you guys, Wobble Dogs is so fun. <laughs> it's so fun to watch. Um, so that's where we'll be going. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me. Please enjoy your Friday and your weekend. Please get some water. Um, and get something to eat. And do a stretch. Because your body will love the stretch. If you are a subscriber, here is your raid message. If you are not a subscriber, here is your raid message. All right. Let's send our friend Prince Belleth a lot of love and raid stuff and, you know, all that fun stuff. And have a good night, y'all. For real. Sorry, I'm typing. There we go. Okay, let's start the raid. Let me go to my offline screen. I accidentally opened the internet instead of going to my offline screen. And by the internet, I mean like Internet Explorer, not even like Chrome. Oh boy. Okay, we're ready to raid. Let's do it.